So I'm driving down the street and I see these companies, these cleaning companies, and they're in rusty vans. The people in in them are not kept up very well. They have... They have just a phone number and saying the service that they offer and that's it. But nothing about the van is professional or the truck or whatever they're driving. It's really important when you hire a company to come work for you, do some work for you, window cleaning or any type of cleaning otherwise. Of course, they need to be uniformed, but also their vehicles. The vehicles of the company that you hire should look good. They should be professional. They should have graphics on them. They should have lettering explaining exactly what that company offers. You should have no question whatsoever who is showing up at your door, who is knocking on your door, and who is doing the work for you. Company vehicles, company image is a must. If they care about their image, they're going to care about your image. If you want your windows clean, you may also want your tracks cleaned. That is a separate service, and they do charge more for that, but it is worth it. If you have dirty tracks, they'll bring a hard bristle brush and scrub out the tracks, then they'll take the vacuum cleaner and suck it all out and make those tracks look really nice. So a lot of times when you do have your windows clean, do ask for that extra service. They do charge more for it, but it is worth it because it'll make everything just look perfect when they're done. And having your tracks cleaned is a great way to have your windows slide smoothly as well as your sliding glass doors. A lot of times we'll get to windows or sliding glass doors that have a very hard time opening and closing. And just simply having the tracks cleaned on a regular basis will solve that problem. It's very annoying when you have a leaky car and it's leaking oil all over your driveway. If you do have a stain on your concrete, however, and you want to get it out, you're going to need a few tools. First, you need a hot water pressure washer, at least 200, 265 degrees. Second, you need a steel brush. Third, you need a degreaser. After the degreaser sits on the concrete for a while, then you'll take the hot water power washer and you'll power wash it off. Once that's completed, spray the degreaser on it again, take the steel brush, scrub it, and then hot water power wash it again. Now, to rent a hot water power washer will cost you about $150. The the degreaser will cost you about $35, and the steel brush is only $10. So you can either do it yourself and pay the same amount, or you can pay the $150 that you would spend anyways and pay someone else to do the work and um, create less hassle for yourself and have a clean driveway. So if you like what you've seen and you want to learn more, go to my website, jjwindowash.com.